I'm Blake Morrison, the investigative projects editor at Reuters News Agency based in New York. Investigative reporting really calls for intense focus. Uh, we spend a lot of time researching and interviewing people uh, on topics that uh, oftentimes we're learning on the fly. And part of what I constantly stress is that we maintain focus in the work we do. That means trying to understand what we're looking for and why we're looking for it. Uh, there are a lot of different cues I have, but that focus keeps us uh, dead set on looking for information that pertains to the subject we're after, uh, that the understanding of who does what, when, and why, choices that are made, and perhaps failures and harms that result as a consequence. When we start an investigation, we usually start with some sort of hypothesis or question. Oftentimes it's something that we don't think has been covered much or we see as poten potentially problematic. And we might write that question down and say, this is the primary focus, the question we're trying to answer. And then we ask ourselves, how do we make that as succinct as possible? If we were to state that, say, in six words, my colleague likes to do that. Or as I like to do, say, what is the issue? Uh, what is the harm that results as a consequence of that? And who's to blame for allowing the suffering or those harms to continue? Then I think it helps us focus our investigations and figure out if what we think we have really translates to journalism. I think some journalists make mistakes uh, when they try to focus investigations and adhere so completely to what their first thought or hypothesis is. Uh, what we know is when we start an investigation, we don't know what we're necessarily going to find. We have reasons to believe that it may lead us in certain directions. But the best journalists are the ones who are capable of constantly assessing their focus and refocusing their investigations as the evidence warrants. So the mistakes that I think people make that are really bad are when they start out thinking they know what they're going to find and then just trying to find it no matter what, even if it's not there. So I expect people to constantly be reshaping and refocusing their ideas depending upon the evidence they find. Flexibility is crucial. I mean, they have to be able to look at the evidence coming in, the interviews they've done, the documents they're finding, the data they're looking at, the videos they're scrutinizing, and asking themselves, am I proving something here? Am I not just playing to my own suspicions or what I thought I might find, but do they help me get to the root of what's going on and prove beyond any reasonable doubt what's happening here? so that when people who come to this story and might not agree with what they're seeing in print at first blush read it, they'll say, wow, they've proved to me that this is truly happening. I believe it.